Hey guys, welcome back. Posted up in the uh, Tataka room. It's Saturday and uh, I'm not on the water. You know, weather-wise, it's not terrible out there. It's about uh, 52 degrees, a little cloudy. Probably a good day to be out in the lake, but just got back from the, uh, the clinic and apparently I got the flu, which explains why I've been feeling so crappy over the last couple of days. And so it really stinks because uh, I'm really active and uh, don't like to be laying around the house and uh, I'm gonna have to lay around the house and not do a whole lot if I wanna get well soon. So not sure if, uh, for those that are watching it, I'm not sure if y'all had the flu or this strand, but I hear it's pretty bad and uh, and I'm feeling it. But enough about that. I wanna show you uh, some of these jigs that uh, I've been making. Um, as you know, I, uh, I poured some uh, some terminal tackle a, a while back and uh, just made some uh, some jig heads that are uh, similar to this. Let's see if I do this right today. Yeah, so that's my extra wide gap. And then I made uh, some, some strength shake a while back. And so since I can't fish, uh, I decided to try my hand at uh, tying up some of my own jig heads. And so this is the first one that I wanted to share y'all. I'll show y'all. So this one is paired with a, a Versa Crawl Junior. This one I used an extra uh, wide gap hook. I think this is a uh, 3 16th ounce. And I want to say I used two different colors uh, strands on this one. And so it's kind of weird how it doesn't like floof out consistently and all other good stuff. And so again, this is uh, one of my first batches. So I'm still learning uh, about the process. And so uh, that's the first one I made uh, with the extra wide gap. And then uh, this one is made with a, uh, a straight uh, type hook. And so this one, you can see how my skirt is more full. It's, I guess it's more long also because uh, I didn't trim up here um, so much, but I don't know if it just looks more full because of the, uh, the color or, or what, but I feel like this one turned out pretty well. Again, this one's also paired with a, uh, a Versa Crawl Junior, but this time I removed the center claws there, whereas this one I did not remove the center claws. So I'll do some other uh, some other shots here, so you can kind of see uh, up close and the detail on some of these finesse jigs. And um, I'm not sure if I have many '90s kids uh, watching the videos, um, but I, I thought this was a a fun color for some reason. This reminds me of the '90s, and so. Um, experimenting with the uh, the different jigs, um, skirts and whatnot, and I uh, just wanted to see what I could uh, put together. And so, again, I think this is a, a fun color. It'd be interesting if I can uh, catch anything. But yeah, why do I have this random strand? I mean, it looks like it'll, it'll come out there, but, but yeah, it's pretty full, I feel like. And that is uh, paired up with a, uh, a Strike King uh, three inch crawl. This is a really good crawl. Um, it's really durable, affordable, and you can usually find them in most places. If you've been watching some of my other videos, you know that um, you know this is a, another little crawl that I uh, used in the past. This thing is neat because I don't know if you can tell there, but you know that red is a little different than that red. And again, this thing looks awesome in the water. And this one's more like a finesse jig. I trimmed a lot more up here, and so that's why you had that kind of poking out there, All right? And so those are the four that uh, I made up. Um, Arrow, my brother, um, tied his first jig on, and he did a lot better than I did uh, on his first go around, but this is what his looks like. And I know we already got tra a trailer on there, but I wanted to kind of give you a perspective of what it looks like with the trailer, but. Arrow likes these little uh, chunk style crawls, and I think this one is a, uh, a zoom, maybe. Yeah. So that's what uh, this is what the the jig that uh, the arrow made looks like. And you know, uh, I'll get some additional video of of some of these jigs here for you. But let me show you how uh, I'm tying these guys up. What my my setup is, and apologies that the shop is uh, or the tackle room here is, is a mess. So just uh, bear with me. Those are the jigs that I just shared with you. These are all the skirts um, that I'm working with. Again, uh, appreciate my buddy Mark for uh, letting me use his stuff here. 
you can see lots of different colors and options. Um, that's what I'm using to pour my jig heads, oven, little molds and whatnot. And then uh, I'm tying them with this little uh, fly tie station here. This thing is kind of cheap and dangly and I don't know, I don't really care. Uh, I don't care a whole lot for it, but that's what she looks like. And then what we're doing is, um, I, it's gonna be hard to do with, uh, with just one hand here, but basically putting the jig head here and then using this guy to, you know, make my wraps to hold on the, uh, the skirt there. And then, uh, you know, adding some super glue to hold everything in place. But again, I'm sick or I, ha I have the flu and not supposed to be out there fishing, but I had to do something fishing related. So I'm gonna pedal around here in the, uh, tackle room and uh, I'm gonna try to recover so that I can get back out on the water for you all. Not sure if you all found this uh, video informative, entertaining or not, but uh, if you wanna see me uh, hand tie some of these jigs, uh, let me know and I'll attempt to try and video and talk through what I'm doing. And so uh, if you're out there fishing, I am hope you're catching them. And uh, if you're not, I hope you're getting tackle ready or uh, just relaxing. All right, guys, that's all I got today. Talk to you later. Bye.